Wandering aimlessly, searching for a way out of a maze built entirely of vegetation, is not a new concept for human entertainment. Mazes were first created during the 16th century by the royalty of Europe. The designers tediously planted the seeds in specific layouts, which was very labor-intensive. With the help of modern GPS technology, the process of creating a maze is now easier than ever for today's farmers. Mike Schrock, owner of Schrock Callaway Farms, took some time to speak with us about his family farm's corn maze, which brings in thousands of visitors each year. In June, we'll plant the corn, the 16-acre maze, uh, just like we do the rest of our corn crop. We'll actually plant the maze two different directions, so you've got rows going both ways. Once we know we've got a good stand of corn, once we know we've got you know plants everywhere and we don't have to replant anything, we'll we'll begin the process of laying out the design in in the in the maze field, and that's done using uh, global positioning. Um, we have uh, you know GPS equipment that we use on the farm for general uh, uh, navigation and data collection with our tractors and implements. We've uh, just kind of developed a way to use that stuff to lay out the maze. To transfer the design to the field, um, on the computer each uh, turn and intersection in the maze design is, is uh, assigned a latitude longitude point or a, you know, a coordinate. Um, so there might be 900 coordinates that we have to to uh, transfer out to the field and we transfer those coordinates just using a handheld GPS device and we'll actually walk to each point and we have you know sub sub foot accuracy about six inches accuracy and we'll put a numbered flag in the ground at each point a couple of weeks after that when or you know a month after that when the corn gets to be about three feet tall we'll go out with a, just a lawnmower and a couple of guys reading maps and we just mow from point to point like a big connect the dots puzzle and so the trails are all cut then, and uh, we'll let the corn grow the rest of the summer. And it, it, this year it got to be about 12 feet tall. And then we, uh, there's a lot of trimming and stuff that's done during the summer before we actually have visitors come. The whole process of transferring the design of the field and cutting the trails takes about three weeks. The family kind of brainstorms during the spring what kind of theme we would like to do for the actual maze design. And uh, so I'll spend time here and there on, on kind of designing a, a the theme and the pattern during the spring. We kind of pick a theme that people will recognize. We've done uh, Mizzou themes in the past. Uh, we've done a lot of patriotic themes. Did uh, St. Louis Cardinals one year. Uh, this year was uh, uh, this year salute our troops. Um, just kind of reminding people about their sacrifice. Uh, so uh, not really a story, yes, but just yeah. We just try to come up with something that people will here recognize here locally. Schrock Callaway Farms, located 15 miles east of Columbia, Missouri, on County Road 253, has been in operation for 12 years. Open to the public from September to November, the maze sits on 15 acres of land. Thanks to the GPS technology, corn mazes are now easier than ever to be created by farmers, including the Schrock family. Currently closed for the season, the family is now able to take a break before they prepare for next year's corn maze.